ball. Too bad. Too bad. Too bad for Shannon. She might have uh, not won a lot of money, but she certainly now owns a world record here. But we've still got eight contestants, so here's the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these famous sculptures in the order they were created, starting with the earliest. Rodin's The Thinker, Venus de Milo, Michelangelo's David, Calder's UNESCO Mobile. Okay, everybody's ready here. Let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. Venus de Milo, Michelangelo's David, Rodin's The Thinker, Calder's UNESCO Mobile. That's the correct order. Who got it right and in the fastest time? And the winner is Mark McDermott. Hey! Mark McDermott, congratulations. You did it. Oh, you gonna go for a million bucks yes, now. Yes, I do. Yeah. Come on, Mark. Right. We're ready. We're gonna play. Okay, okay, Chicago, here's your man, Mark McDermott, lives in Park Forest, Illinois, just yes. outside of Chicago. Nice to have you here, Mark. Congratulations. Thank you. And your wife, Barbara, up there in the audience. Hi, Barbara. Hi, Regis. How are I, you? Good. I understand <laughs> you two met via the personal ad. Uh, yes, uh, we, we both had a personal ad running at the same time, and I had put in my ad that I would like someone who uh, enjoys the humor of, uh, of a certain cartoon show on another network, as they say. She called back and said to look at her ad and listen to her message, and that's how we got together. Was this the first personal ad you would put in? I've done a couple beforehand, but it just didn't click just like that. Uh-huh. Boy, well, that was quick work, wasn't it? Yes. Did he live up to everything he said about himself in the ad? Well, we're here, so that... <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. Okay, Mark, here we go. You know the rules, you know the lifelines, 50-50. As the audience, finally you can phone a friend. So if you're ready, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. <laughs> For $100, Mark, according to America Online's <laughs> trademark phrase, you've got what? Some nerve, mail, a friend, Time Warner. It's you've got mail, B. Yeah, you got that right. You got mail. $200, and here it comes. The Grim Reaper is normally depicted carrying what object in its hand? A scythe? A book? A sword? A puppy? Uh, I think it's scythe, A. Yeah, you're right. You won $200. For $300, according to the fairy tale, what did Rapunzel let down from her window? Was it her leg, her arm, her hair, her entire family? <laughs> uh, that would be her hair, C. Right on the money, her hair, $300. For $500, Mark, check it out. A crocus is which of the following? A bird, a plant, an insect, a frog song. And it's a plant, B. Absolutely right for $500. Here we go for $1,000. In which of these sports do the main characters in the film Chariots of Fire compete? Auto racing, hockey, running, basketball. Well, it's England in the 1920s, so um, it's pretty much got to be C, running. You got it right, it was running, Chariots of Fire. reached the $1,000 level uh, mark, so you can't leave with less than that, but here it is for $2,000. When shown the red card by the referee, what does a soccer player have to do? Change teams, score a goal, leave the field, tackle an opponent. It's C, leave the field. Final answer? Yes, it is. He says it's leave the field. He's right for $2,000. We go for 4,000 right now, and here it is. In the opening sequence to the sitcom The Brady Bunch, what character occupies the center square 
Mrs. Brady, Mr. Brady, Marsha, Alice. Well, the kids are always off to the side. I don't know which side the boys are and the girls are right at this moment. That leaves uh, the two parents, top and bottom. So by elimination, and that's how I arrived at this really, uh, the one in the middle has to be Alice. D. Alice. Alice. D. Final answer. Final answer. It was Alice. You got that right. $4,000. Mark McDermott from Chicago on a roll right now. We're going for $8,000. Here it is. In what U.S. city did protests at a 1999 World Trade Organization meeting turn violent? Seattle, San Diego, Miami, Las Vegas. A, Seattle. Final answer. Yes, final answer. Yeah, it was Seattle, and it just happened a little while ago. $8,000. Haven't used the lifeline yet? Good shape. Seven questions away from the million. For $16,000. In 1959, what continent was deemed an international preserve for scientific research? Europe, Australia, Antarctica, South America. C, Antarctica. Antarctica. Final answer. Final answer. Got it right, it was Antarctica. He's won $16,000. <laughs> okay, here comes that $32,000 level. If you miss here, you'll go back to $1,000. But let's yes. take a look at it. Here it is. What Shakespearean character was assassinated on the Ides of March? Hamlet, Macbeth, Richard II, Julius Caesar. It's what he said to the soothsayer. The Ides of March have come. And he said, yes, but they have not gone. D, Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar. Final? Final answer. It was Julius Caesar. He's won $32,000. Yeah. Hey, Mark, there it is. Looking good. Barbara's very happy up there. I'm think? happy. Yeah. Good thing you answered that ad, Barbara. <laughs> We're going for 64,000. You're five questions away from a million. You haven't used a lifeline for the whole game here. So here it is for 64,000. What image is pictured on the current flag of the European Union? Circle of stars, sun and rays, stripes woven together, concentric circles. Now I'm not too sure. I've got somewhat of an idea. Well, a friend of mine just moved uh, from Chicago to New York, and he says they are one of the most cosmopolitan people he's ever run into. So I want to uh, use a lifeline and ask the audience. Want to use the audience? All right, fine. All right, good. Audience, we need a little help here on your keypads using A, B, C, or D. Please vote now. Well, 44% think it's a circle of stars. Not an overwhelming margin, but that's no. uh, the biggest margin you've got there. That's kind of the direction I was leaning. You know, Mark, this is almost, uh, you're not going to lose anything. I know. You've won 32,000. Everyone is serious. Every question is necessary. Yeah, sure. I'm going to go, though, I'm going to go with the audience. I'm going to say A, circle of stars. You trust this audience? I trust the audience because they were thinking my way. Final answer? Final answer. The audience was right. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, dear. All right. That sound means we're out of time for tonight, but Mark will be back here tomorrow night. And joining him will be 10 new contestants from all over the country. And they are Sean Farrell, Dennis Holt, Steve McGrath, Kevin Connells, Dave Folt.
Charles Gamalia, Jamie Broom, Matt Wichita Woods, Dave Hyde, Brett Fleischman. Let's see who got it right, and in the fastest time, and it's Shannon McGee! Shannon breaks our fastest finger record by almost two seconds to post a time of less than one second. Absolutely unbelievable. Congratulations. And the winner is Mark McDermott. Hey! I understand you two met via the personal ad. Yes. Did he live up to everything he said about himself in the ad? Well, we're here, so... Jeez, <laughs> thanks. Got it right. It was Antarctica. He's won $16,000. He's won... $32,000. So here it is for $64,000. You're right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, join us from New York, the night 36 of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> there you go. You made it. Thank you very much, everybody. Hello again, and welcome back for another evening of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. You know, we had quite a night last night. You just saw some of it. A 100-year-old grandmother, uh, Nanny Rose, came here to root on her young grandson, Jason Block, from Brooklyn, New York, and what a character he was. But whatever she was eating, we all want some of that. She was just great. And then Daredevil Shannon McGee broke a world record with the fastest finger time of under one second. Really unbelievably fast. But tonight, more drama right from the start. Mark McDermott here from Park Forest, Illinois, here in the hot seat and just four questions away from winning $1 million. And that's how we'll start tonight's show. Uh, last night, we learned how Mark met his wife, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. How you doing? Hi, Regis. How nice are you? Nice to have you here. Well, they met through a personal ad. He placed it. She answered it. Yes. Marriage. Yeah. All right, Mark. Nice to have you here. You're you're, you've won, as you know, $64,000. Oh, yes. uh, you're four questions away from winning $1 million. The rules are quite simple. The more questions you get right, the more money you win. You've already reached the $32,000 level, so you're guaranteed to leave here with at least that much money. Two more lifelines uh, to help you. 50-50 is where the computer will take away two of the wrong answers, leaving one correct answer and, of course, one wrong answer. And you can phone a friend. We're our friends at at and We'll hope you call anyone anywhere in America to see if they can help you out. So, Mark, if you are ready. Yes. Barbara, are you ready? Uh, as ready as I'm going to be. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, <laughs> Barbara. Here we go. Let's go. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Okay, Mark, here it comes now for $125,000. In the Botticelli painting, The Birth of Venus, what is Venus standing on? Cloud, shell, tapestry, pedestal. Hmm. I've seen the painting many times. I don't really notice what she's standing on, but uh, finally your attention wanders away, and uh, it is, uh, in fact, a shell, B. Well... Quick recovery, a shell. B. Confident? Yes, I am. All right, fine. Final answer? Final answer. Just won $125,000. <laughs> I thought for a minute there you said you didn't notice what uh, she was standing on. but Well, there were other attractions in the painting. All right. Okay. <laughs> Now, you should know in here that if you uh, miss, you'll be reduced to 32000 Yes. Right now, you would lose $93,000. But we're up to a quarter million dollars and three questions away from winning one million. Can you believe this? It, it, it's, it'll sink in later. Okay, all right. $250,000, here it is. Dry ice is the solid form of which gas? Nitrogen, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, carbon dioxide. Well, my thinking is I'm pretty confident on this one. Pretty sure if uh, you wouldn't want to be locked in a room full of uh, solid carbon monoxide, so it would have to be carbon dioxide D. Okay, final answer. 
I'll go with it. D, final answer. You did it again. You won $250,000. for one million dollars two lifelines left come on back and see how we go mark mcdermott here it is mark a quarter million dollar check your name on it pal i like that you're doing very well absolutely look at this what uh what would you do with the money if you want? Well, I'd like to travel, maybe see uh, Florida, the Northwest, and of course we have, we'll have to be dropping in on all our relatives. Mm -hmm. um, Everything sounds great, but think about, rethink about visiting the relatives. Well, just kidding. The Mark, ones just I had kidding. when I came in, uh, they're just they're locked in. They'll be more later on. I know that. <laughs> All right, Mark, and you had a dream about this too, didn't you? Last I night? was trying to make the uh, million dollar question come to me in a dream, so uh, I, I won't know until I see. Did it. anything come to you in the dream? A couple. All right, so you've won 250000 Should you lose here, you'll lose $218,000. You understand that, but we're going for a half million dollars. Two questions away from a million. Let's play. What ship is believed to have passed by the Titanic, ignoring her distress signals? Sirius? Californian? Carpathia? Anne McKim? Didn't see the movie, but read a lot about it before then. You have two lifelines left. You can call somebody or you can have it reduced. The answer's by two. Hmm. I think I know. I want to take a 50-50. Fine, no problem. Computer, please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving Mark one wrong answer and one, of course, the correct one. Californian Carpathia. The answer is the Carpathia C. Just came to you. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh-huh. Okay. Final answer? That is my final answer. The market's the wrong answer. Sorry, it's California. The California. Mm. And, of course it back down to $32,000. Uh, I'm stunned myself, but Me too. anyway, that's, that's the game. I'm sorry, Mark. I really am. Uh... I'm happy. Okay. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't not believe it. Mark. Yeah, we go out that way. All right. All right. Oh, boy. That was a tough one. It's so difficult to watch that. Wants to be a 